First of all, I want to make sure that everybody knows that this uh, video is not an advertisement, nor is it a sponsored video. Uh, also, very quickly, I said in my last video I was frustrated with the demonetization. Basically, that just comes down to the amount of time and effort, because I did a lot of comment on the video. Uh, basically, it comes down to the time and effort that I put together, <laughs> countless hours, really, these last seven years and being very careful with my content that I've uploaded to be kind of ignored and basically put back to the start of doing YouTube. It's basically like I've just started doing it. So it's frustrating in that way, I think, most of all. But this is not what you're here for. You're here for WrestleCrate UK Unboxing. Now, I will say they are, where is it? Yes, here. On Facebook, they are forward slash WrestleCrate UK. On Twitter, at WrestleCrate UK and on Instagram at WrestleCrate UK. Again, this is not a sponsored video or an advertisement, but I have purchased them. They have got a decent reputation. Now, there are many different subscription packages available these days, not just for wrestling, but for food, wines, beers, spirits, different ready meal things. There's so many out there. And being a wrestling fan, I heard about WrestleCrate for months. I've heard about their service. I thought, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to subscribe for at least a couple of months, depending on what happens with financial plans. So for the next couple of months at least, I'll do an unboxing, maybe at least three months, maybe four, uh, depending on financial plans, because I've got uh, a couple of things uh, perhaps possibly coming up, and I'm not go I don't need to go into that. But I am here to unbox my WrestleCrate, just so you can see it, just so you can don't think that I am actually... Pulling things out of my own personal collection um, that are uh, lying around and claiming it's from it's a, a, an unboxing video. So I'll open this up, just being careful of the camera. Okay, well, first of all, as I said, this is my very first box, and at uh, the very top, I have a Lucha Libre looking t shirt. It's a gentleman in a. looks like an El Santo mask with somebody in a headlock. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure whether the camera's picking up that up properly. It's a little bit light in here. Uh, but, um, certainly, the size is correct. Obviously, you have to put in your size when you are... Uh, I'll just quickly... You know what? I'm going to open this up. Um, I'll hold it up. But hopefully you can see this properly. If you can't, I'll put up a pi proper picture of it. I'll take a picture of uh, this. That is it, a Lucha Libre looking t-shirt, Arena Mexico, love to visit that place, I would love to, but I've always been, uh, yes, it's like the Blue Demon and the Solar on the bottom, a Lucha Libre t-shirt, I've always been a fan of Lucha Libre, uh, I've always liked that style of wrestling, so that's great, now I've got a, a Lucha Libre wrestling t-shirt. Oh, there's also another t-shirt. Two t-shirts already. This is not bad. Uh, the, the cost of this is around about £21. So that's not bad. Two t-shirts. You're talking about the value of the box itself, if I'm honest. So this is a, another t-shirt. Okay, who is this? I don't... I, I Apologies if I don't recognise the rest. some of the wrestlers because some of the independent scene I'm not entirely... Seeing. Oh, Walter. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Walter, well, there, you're sure you can see that there. That's a, so that's two t-shirts. Oh yes, well, uh, that'll be more washing to do, but uh, I've got tons of wrestling t-shirts. I think I'll have a video up at one point for wrestling t-shirts. I might do that again. Okay, so, ooh, we've got a couple of DVDs. Oh, I'm just saying, ooh, most of Don't ignore that, please. I've got two DVDs in this, and uh, these are... Now... Rosemary vs. Ali, Demon vs. The Slayer. This is obviously Rosemary vs. Ali, and it looks... Yes, it's highlights of... Uh, both of their... It looks like, yes, they're... It's a feudal DVD collection, it seems. Matches from those uh, these two ladies, Ali and Rosemary. Now, Rosemary... I watched a little bit on Impact Wrestling, never had the chance to see her live. Um, haven't had a huge amount of seen, seen Ali either, so that is certainly one. Because I am genuinely a fan of women's wrestling, and I'm not just saying that. Um, you know, 
women like Nikki Cross, I keep wanting to call her Nikki Storm, I've seen her many times live at the local wrestling promotion who I'm going to see tonight, actually, but it'll be, to, uh, yes, last night by the time I upload this, perhaps. Um, but this is even like a feudal DVD, I like these, you get a series of their matches. Um, so, yes, the cover uh, of the DVD is, uh, is, I don't know, you probably, probably can't see it, maybe, but, uh, Yes, it looks like a good one, like some of their matches it seems. Um, I think even from previous incarnations, uh, it looks like. I'm not entirely familiar with these two, these history, complete history, but uh, that's good. Now, this one I'm, this one I'm also excited about. This one uh, is a really good DVD. US Championship, A Legacy of Greatness. Now, again, I'm a wrestling fan. I grew up as a fan of WCW. And uh, obviously the United States Championship, which is now uh, defended in WWE, uh, began its life in the NWA, then WCW, and now of course WWE. Uh, so it's this is when I've genuinely been cons uh, considered buying this, but I didn't. I can't remember why. I think that was to do with the holiday um, in New York when that just came out. Yeah, 2016. I'm sure that was to do with the holiday. I didn't have the money at the time. I'm not, not had the opportunity. Um, but this is about the history of the United States Championship. Uh, obviously up, only up to about two years ago now, but... Uh, featuring matches... Superstars like The Nature Boy, Ric Flair, Rowdy Roddy Piper, Lex Luger, Magnum T.A., Stone Cold Steve Austin, Eddie Guerrero, Dolph Ziggler, Cesaro, The Miz, Daniel Bryan, etc. This one will definitely be, be being watched. I always liked... Um, w, like I said, I grew up a fan of WCW. So... That is definitely one that's going to get, these two DVDs are certainly going to get, genuinely going to get watched by myself. Ah, this is, um, mm. now, to be honest, this next item, I'm kind of tempted to leave to last. So it's lonely in there. Will I? You know what, why not? I'm going to leave that last item till it's lonely in there. Maybe you'll get the hint. Oh, but this is good. A lapel pin. A lapel pin of the macho uh, exclusive. This is the large crate, by the way. I don't think I mentioned it. This is the larger crate. I decided to just go for it because I'm going to go a couple of months so far. And I thought, I I've got the money a little bit. It's the last uh, kind of a little bit of money that I inherited. So I'm going to go, go for it a little bit. Um, it's a lapel pin of the macho man. Obviously the macho man's glasses. Again, I don't know whether you can see it properly. There's a bit light in here. Unfortunately, you, you, it's difficult with this light coming in this house the way the house is. Um, but it's a lapel pin of Macho Man glasses. So that's, uh, that's good. I'm keeping that. I'll put that to this side. I'll put the rubbish down there. Um, okay, well, I'm going to skip over that, as I said. Next, it is... Oh, it is... Oh, the, this is really good. A comic book... Of Mandrews versus the Bruiserweight. Mandrews versus the Bruiserweight. And it is seemingly signed by Mark Andrews and Pete Dunne. Oh, that is pretty good. That's actually, you know, this is box is a lot better than I thought it would be. Genuinely, I, I, I admit I had my reservations about boxes like these. They can throw in a lot of rubbish, but... Uh, this is signed by Br Pete Dunn and Mandrews, Mark Andrews. It's a comic book, actually, um, about, oh, it looks like about a match between them, yes. Yes, it's a match, it's, oh, so they, I have a couple of WCW annuals where it's in cartoon form, uh, British Strong style, yes. Yes, it. Certainly, yeah, it's good. A very good a comic book of Mark Andrews versus the Bruiserweight Creep Pete Dunn. Uh, I'm not sure whether I've seen Mark Andrews wrestle live before. I certainly haven't seen Pete Dunn. I know my a friend of mine actually um, just so happens with these couple of these bits. But a friend of mine, uh, Mr. Darren Goss, is actually a good friend of Mark Andrews because. Uh, Darren has been involved in the Welsh wrestling scene as a manager. Um, commentator, he's now actually a commentator for Discovery Wrestling, 
Well, I haven't been through there to see them for such a long time. Um, oh, now this is good. Now this might make a friend of mine jealous a little bit. I don't think this. Um, well, I think this actually is signed. I think it's a. Well, that one seems the same, but. Um, this is a print out of a wrestling figure thing of Bret Hitman Hart. That is quite good. That is really good actually. A signed, uh, it's not signed, but it's like print, I think it's printed off. Obviously, Brett took me, uh, we have the opportunity to send him them, but that's pretty good though. It's a, uh, I think I have that figure somewhere. I have that figure somewhere. I'm sure I do. Um, but it's a print out thing, a design of uh, kind of artistic kind of um, design uh, about his uh, kind of his old WWE figure. That's pretty good, actually. Um, also, what else is in here? Well, there's a advertisement, another advertisement thing. Ah, that's why this is in here because it says WorldWrestlingFigures.com. Uh, action figure profiles and checklist prints by WorldWrestlingFigures.com. Uh, this is obviously a little bit of an advertisement thing. I'll check. Maybe check them out. I I do have a few of the WWE figures. That's what I'm saying. I, I have a few of these figures. Um, I, I decided to buy a few of them. Some of them are not in great condition. Now. They're mostly second hand on eBay and they're being sold very cheap. Um, what else is in here? Also is... Oh, there's a couple of things here. A couple of them, um, it looks like... Um, well, there is the... Yes, it's... Uh, it's a guide. Oh, that's good. That's a guide. It's a guide. I f happened to find this at the bottom. It's a guide of what this is. It's a guide of pretty much what's there. The Walter exclusive T-shirt, two-time progress Atlas champion, WXW 16 karat gold final, uh, tag team champion. Uh, it's a list of what is in there. Uh, that, so that's good. It's actually a list of what you get in there. Uh, along with advertisement, again, this is not an advertisement, this is paid for by myself, but uh, it's got an advertisement of what's happening. What's included next month is there's going to be an item form, and I knew this already, WWE Raw's Apollo Crews, although I believe this week he is just, that they have shortened the name the name to Apollo. Um, maybe give him, tried to give him this Greek Roman mythology vibe. Uh, but apparently his name's been cut to Apollo, but Apollo Crews comes to WrestleCrate next month. Um, and there's an advertisement for, for uh, Progress Wrestling. I have to say, I listened to Jim Smallman's uh, podcast. I, the name is escaping me now, but um, he's interviewed a few people. Uh, I can't remember what it's called now, but it's a very good podcast. Um, so... It's an advertisement for their show at the SSE Wembley Arena on the 30th of September and uh, Super Strong Style 16th in May, uh, the Alexander Palace. Of course, that's the London, uh, London promotion. So, and finally, this last, I believe the last, yes, the last uh, item in this left till the last. And according to the guide, it's a hand-signed one. And actually, like I said, I'm going to the local wrestling promotion tonight, which is featuring Zack Sabre Jr. It'll be yesterday, probably, possibly by the time I upload this. If it's not, then it's Saturday, 24th of February at the Friary, Tall Delta Road, Dundee, featuring Zack Sabre Jr. But um, I'm going to maybe try and see whether I can upload this pretty much immediately. But um, certainly, I'm going up to see that promotion. That promotion is owned by... And this is by the Million Dollar Man. It's owned by the Million Dollar Man. And quite ironically, in this um, wrestle crate, I get a supposedly hand signed, according to the guide, uh, Million Dollar uh, Bill kind of printout design featuring, as I said, Lonely, because it's Virgil! Virgil! Now, there are some. There is one particular story I can tell about Virgil that I've heard, but I can't, no, I can't tell it. There's one story I've heard about Virgil, but I can't tell it. Uh, actually, I've met Virgil. I've actually met Virgil, and i probably got about one of the few decent, well, I've got a couple of stories about Virgil, but 
I probably got about the only, one of the only decent stories about Virgil is that is because I only had, well I actually ended up finding more money uh, in the other pocket that I had on the, the, the old jacket that I had, zip. but he took like, literally a couple of UK pounds, like two UK pounds or something to sign something uh, when I thought I'd actually run out of money and want, uh, um, so I was able to, because uh, it was him and the Million Dollar Man signing at the Scottish Wrestling Entertainment show, I believe that was, must, that was, yes, uh, Hell for Like 8, which was in 2011. So I met Virgil in 2011. I couldn't get to the signings before the show, because at that point I was working. Uh, but yeah, a million dollar uh, bill design poster thing with Lonely Virgil, that's why I kept it to the bottom. So that's not bad, actually, okay. So... I know I've gone over 15 minutes that I, uh, I kind of intended to do, but what do I think of this? What, genuinely, what do I think of this? I'm actually quite happy with what I've got, genuinely. Um, like I said, it's the first time I've actually had a wrestling crate. And now, the monetary value of this, I paid around about 21 to 23 pounds, I think, including postage and packaging. Um, I'd have to double check on that, but... I paid roughly around about say twenty three pounds um, for this, and actually the monetary value of this is pretty good. It is very good, in fact. You have a, a WWE DVD set that normally costs you about twenty pound. I can't really give a value on the Virgil kind of poster thing. Um, the 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 guide is obviously. I can't really give you a monetary value on these. I I, I'm, I would struggle here, maybe a couple of pound. Um, but you get the lapel pin, which could cost you at least. I would even say that's probably about five, eight quid, eight pound. I should. Um, the signed a signed comic that is worth. I would say probably. You're probably talking at least ten pound for that. At least to get it to get it and get it signed by both gentlemen. So that is pretty very very good. You have the um, Rosemary Alley DVD, which could cost it again another ten, fifteen pound, because I know the price of some independent talent at wrestling shows that they charge obviously cover the cost and make a little bit of money. It's how some of these guys make their money. Um, you know, at shows, you know, when you, I've seen Chris Hero and a f quite a few others sell DVDs at independent wrestling shows, Colt Cabana, for example, and I would say check out his Wrestling Road Diaries if you haven't still, um, but which is obviously nothing to do with the box, but that is quite good. Plus, two t-shirts. A Wal a look, I think believe it's a Luke Walters. A Luke Walters t-shirt and a Lucha Libre themed um, t-shirt. I'll have a, quick look, a closer look at this um, Lucha Libre t-shirt. But that, I'm really happy with that t-shirt. I like that t-shirt. I'll wear both of them, of course. Um, perhaps... I'm not sure about tonight, I'm not sure what I'm wearing tonight, I might wear one of these tonight actually. When I go up and uh, take the fan photos of the SWE show, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but, that is quite good, actually for about £20, £23 pound, uh, value of this one, I think that's a really, really good value. I'm actually pretty happy with some signed stuff, a couple of t-shirts, two DVDs that I can spend quite a few hours watching and re-watching and keep um, in my video library. Genuinely... I'm pretty happy with that. 